Did you know that the Beetlejuice might explode soon? It's wobbling now. This is Alphaebus. Beetlejuice is a red supergiant star in Orion. If you look at the constellation Orion, Beetlejuice is right here. Star is at the distance of 640 light years. So that means when we see Beetlejuice, its light is from 640 years ago. For example, if Beetlejuice explodes today, we are only going to learn about its 640 years later. That's how distant Betelgeuse is. This is relatively close in our universe. Betelgeuse is a red supergiant star. It's huge. If you compare the size, it's 20 times solar mass and the radius is 1,000 times larger than the sun. So if you compare the size, the sun is like a tiny dot compared to the size of the Betelgeuse. This is because Betelgeuse is a red supergiant star. So here I show the life cycle of high mass stars. High mass stars spend most of its life in the main sequence. In the high mass stars spend most of the time in the main sequence where stars burn hydrogen to produce energy. But when stars finished burning hydrogen, then stars going to burn helium. And at this process, when stars start burning helium, stars temperature goes much higher and then start become much bigger. This is a phase called red giant phase. And the middle juice is red supergiant star in this phase. And this phase is gonna continue around one million year or so. Then after that, red supergiant stars finish burning helium, it's gonna go into supernova explosion and explode. People say Betelgeuse is at the last stage of the helium burning process and it might explode soon. The reason is here, if you see the light curve of Betelgeuse, it gets brighter and fainter and brighter and fainter with a period of 425 days. So, this may be the sign of the last phase of helium burning process before explosion. And then more interestingly, in January 2020, Betelgeuse's brightness suddenly get much fainter, 2.5 times fainter here at the preceding red arrow. And then people saw this and then got excited. Oh, finally, maybe Betelgeuse's explosion is coming. All giant telescopes in the world were pointing to Betelgeuse to watch it explode. So this is the image. Uh, by the way, Betelgeuse is a, a very big star and nearby, so telescopes, big telescopes can resolve the image. So you can, it's not a point source anymore, it has a shape, we can take a picture of the shape. And as you can see, around January 2020, it got fainter, right? You can also see that in the light curve, it gets faint like this. So, people got really excited. We might be able to see the supernova explosion of Betelgeuse. So, this is the movie of the Betelgeuse. It gets fainter. And if Betelgeuse explodes, it's gonna be 100 times brighter than the full moon. So, in this picture, the leftmost one is the current Betelgeuse. It's a red star in Orion here. And then if it's explode, it's gonna be the middle one 100 times brighter than the moon. So it's gonna be very very visible. You can also see it during the daylight. And this continues for a few months and after that it's gonna be invisible. So Orion's going to lose the you know left shoulder. If it's explode 100 times brighter than the moon, full moon, so you can see in a daylight Nighttime also becomes brighter because there's little juice which is 100 times brighter than the full moon. So, astronomers got excited. We point all the big telescopes, including space telescopes, to the little juice watching. It might explode. However, maybe some of you already noticed. If you look carefully at this light curve, so it got fainter in January, but in March and April, it got brighter again and uh, it 
went back to the original brightness. So it didn't explode, it just went back to the original state. That's a little disappointing. It turned out to be. So the many telescopes observed them. Then some millimeter telescope detected the dust. So it turned out to be it was not going to the supernova explosion, but the dust, Betelgeuse itself emitted the dust, got in front of the Betelgeuse and then blocked the light. So that's why it got fainter. So this is the artist's image of this phenomenon. So this, this red one is Betelgeuse. And then red supergiant stars sometimes emit dust. And then some of these dust happen to come in front of Betelgeuse and then blocked its light. So that's why it got 2.5 times faint. This is the submillimeter data and it detected dust in front of the Betelgeuse. So we learned that's how it happened. Well, it's a bummer, but however, the latest simulation still shows it might explode in 100,000 years or so. Okay, so people stay healthy, live long enough to watch the spectacular supernova explosion of Betelgeuse. Okay, that's it for today. If you like the video, please like it and please subscribe to my channel. Comments and questions are welcome down below. That's it for today. See you next time. Bye-bye.